God bless your heart. God bless your heart. This is, once again, L.R.L. Dunlap Jr. Coming up to you with the whole true gospel. The infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated word of God. We greet you on today. Now, this is question and answer session. The question was asked me. Uh, what is the biblical name of the Father? They say they want a Bible for the name of the Father. They want a Bible for the name of the Father. And of course we are obliged and we're going to give it to you also. Let's deal with the lesser first. Then another gentleman said it's not scripture where Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. Say it's not scripture. We have many, many scriptures. I'm just going to give one. Do you believe the Bible? Go to St. Mark 16. St. Mark 16. You apostolics, you apostolics, come here. Come here to me. Come here to me, you apostolic. Do you believe God's word? In St. Mark, the 16th chapter and the 19th verse, this is one scripture. We have several more, but I never give you one. Believe God's word. Forget the preachers. Believe God's word. So then after the Lord <coughs> has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Do you, believe the, do you believe the Bible? That's the Bible I just gave you. Let's give you one more. Let's go to Revelation. Now you know you don't add and you don't take away. Uh, 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 bless you, Pastor Willie. Go to Revelation. Let, let's, let's show you some. Revelation the... Revelations 3 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book, but out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father. Y'all say Jesus the Father. One more, one more. Then we'll go to the to the major question that was asked me. Uh, stay in Revelation. Stay in Revelation. I need to show you something. Stay in Revelation. I need to show you where Jesus... is sitting on the throne with his father. I need to show you that. And, 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 and you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just rushing and I, and I know I'm overlooking. Who, who got that script to revelate? Put that up there. Where Jesus is sitting on the throne with his father. Revelation. Here it is, Revelation 3.21. This Jesus talking. This Revelation, 
you bet not add and you bet not take away. To him that overcome it, I will grant to sit with me on my throne. Even as I also am, I also overcame and am sit down with my father on his throne. That scripture. All right. So, yes, Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. And the scripture says, forget, forget what your pastor said. Let me say this, let me say it boldly. Bishop, the late Bishop S.C. Johnson was a liar and a false prophet. Bishop S.M. Shelton, Bishop Randolph Goodwin, Bishop uh, E.W. Tooks, Bishop V. Bush, oh, I'm not new to it, I'm true to it. Bishop uh, and the rest of that hold that doctrine that say Jesus is God. Jesus is not on the right hand of the Father. Why do I say they fall prophet? Because people have gave them the same scripture I just read unto you. And they say the scripture don't mean that. They don't believe the scripture. They're a liar. Geno Genet, Pastor Geno Genet is a liar and a false prophet. They gave him the same scriptures that I gave. And he said it don't mean that. He said the right hand of the Father mean the right hand of power, the right hand of authority. Okay, who the thought? I read your scripture. They are lie. They are liar. They false prophets. They know better. If you don't know, you don't know. Now, let's get to this. What is the name? They asked me what was the name of the father. And let me do this for, before I go there. They say, what was the name of the father? We was taught, coming up in the pastor church, the Father's name is Jesus. Who is the Father? The Father is Jesus. We just showed where that wasn't correct. And we also went to Ephesians where it says one Lord, one faith, one baptism. In the very next verse say one God and Father of all, which they leave out. I wonder why. But they ask, what's the name of the Father? What's the name of the Son? What's the name of the Holy Ghost? I don't know the name of the Holy Ghost. I never read the name of the Holy Ghost, but I know the Holy Ghost is the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, whom the Father sent back when Jesus went back to his Father, when Jesus said, and I go to my Father, and I pray to the Father, and he will send you another Comforter, that's the Holy Ghost. Who the name of the Son? We all know that's Jesus. Who the name of the Father? Get your Bible. Get your Bible. I want you to go to Exodus, the sixth chapter, and the first verse. We're going to learn who the name of the Father is. Exodus, the sixth chapter, and the first verse. You hear me, Dr. David Easternet? Exodus, the sixth chapter and the first verse. And I, and I don't need to go and meet Geno Genesis nowhere and debate nothing. The word is right, period. Do you believe the word or don't? The word right. Exodus, the sixth chapter and the first verse. And let me say this before we do this. <coughs> yeah. Baptism, baptism in Jesus' name. Baptism in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Baptism in Jesus' name. 
I ask them, I say, are you denying the Father? They say, I'm not denying the Father. Okay, what's your problem? Are you denying the Son? Are you denying the Holy Ghost? All of, all of them plays a part. Baptism in Jesus' name, as I talked to a minister Sunday, baptism in Jesus' name was simply this. Jesus said he didn't believe in the baptized. Before you're baptized, you have to believe. What do you believe? If you go to Acts the 19th chapter, which lie has been told for years, Acts 19, say, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? They say, we have not heard what they be in the Holy Ghost. He say, in what name were you baptized? No, he didn't say that. No, he, did. he didn't say that. It say, unto what? Unto what? Then he went on to explain. They say, unto John Baptist. He said, John, barely baptized with water. Baptist repentance, saying that they should believe on him. That which shall come after him, and that is on Christ Jesus. Baptism in Jesus' name is simply saying, I believe on the only begotten Son of God. And since I believe, I'm being baptized, believing Jesus. I'm being baptized, believing. When Philip went down and talked to the unit and, 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 and preached to him and taught him, uh, he said, he and Walter, what he'll be for being baptized? What Philip say? Only if you believe. He said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he baptized. They baptized in Jesus' name. Believe in Jesus Christ. The only means of salvation. That's what baptized in Jesus' name mean. He that believed in their baptized. But Let's go and get to the Father's name. Go to Exodus 6 and 1. Read with us. And, and let me say this. As I say so often, when it comes to the word of God, I believe God's word. I don't care if you my pastor. I don't care if you Bishop Saul Blake or the late Bishop C.A. Mason. Or the late Bishop G.E. Pastor, J.O. Pastor. I believe God's word. And if you speak that knowingly, which is contrary to God's word, you a liar. They go for my pastor and your pastor. And me too. If I do it, I'm a liar. Okay, let's go. Let's see what God's name is. Then the Lord said to Moses, who talking? Who talking? Who talking? Now call him a lie. Who talking? And the Lord said to Moses, now shalt thou see that what I will do to Pharaoh. For with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses, said unto him, I am the Lord. Now we get ready to see what God's name is. What the Father's name is. I am the Lord. Cut the frame. Third verse. I appeal to Abram and Isaac and to Jacob by the name of God Almighty. God Almighty is a name. By the name of God Almighty. Watch this. By the name of God Almighty, but by my name, Jehovah, was I not known unto them. They didn't know me by Jehovah at that time. What's God's name? What's God's name of apostolic faith? What's God's name? <laughs> what did God say his name was? God Almighty and what? Jehovah. That's God's name. 
can't close. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. God bless you. And of course, the comments you have on anything you have, feel free to contact us, and we will answer every question you have with the Bible. God bless you is my prayer.